been making and applying wigs and hair pieces for almost 30 years. I'm so happy to be able to offer you the very best in hair replacement systems. We women have so many roles that we play, so many uh, people that we take care of. We are the last to think of ourselves. And as we age, our needs change. For myself, you see, look at me now. This is the new Miss Lola with the shorter haircut that is more convenient for me. I'm always developing and planning and just doing everything that I can to make you look your very best at every age. It's not just the slogan, it's how I feel. It's who I am. This is Van. Hey, Van. Van and I have been friends for, uh, <laughs> is it going on 30 years? 30, yes. yes. <laughs> when we started out as friends, Van had this huge bush of hair. As the years have gone on, my hair has thin as well as hers. She's wearing a weave today, and I'm going to take that wig off, I'm going to take her weave off, and go back into the salon, prep her, and when I come back, we're going to start the insulation process for her new unit that I'm going to apply for her. And we're back in Lola's Hair Designers. This is my friend introducing her again. This is Van. She's my friend for uh, like almost 30 years. As we age, our hair gets thinner. Um, across my front hairline, I have traction alopecia. And Van has a hair loss like many women have, which is in the crown. Her front hairline is not really affected, nor is her back hairline. But it's just this crown area that has begun to thin. And this is certainly hereditary, so pretty much we know it's not going to grow back to its full thickness. But hopefully I can uh, keep it from falling out even sooner by eliminating weaves. Weaves and types of hair additions that really pull the hair can cause the hair loss to you know, progress more than it would naturally. What I've done for a van is I have made her, we have made her a custom three-quarter unit. This unit was made especially for Van, and I actually, I actually made a template for this unit, and we sent it to the factory and had it made especially for her. And this is what I will do with any unit that you order from me. I will custom make it to your specifications. Of course, if you're able to come here to North Carolina, I will personally do it for you. But if you, you're not able to come to North Carolina, that's why we've made it really, really easy at Miss Lola LLC to customize a wig or hair unit for you. So what we're going to do right now is I am going to trim all of the lace off of this unit <laughs> and we're going to apply it to Van's hair. So give me a minute to cut this lace and I'll be right back with you and we'll start the installation. Hi again. I've cut the excess lace from Van's unit. So now this is very easy. It's going to be just extremely easy to install. And this unit with Van, I wanted to leave her sides out because she does have fairly thick uh, temple points. I'm not going to do any trimming or any cutting back of her hairline. We're just going to apply the unit to accommodate her hair and not the other way around. And we've got clips all around the unit. Basically I'm just going to align the unit. Her own hairline is there, which is not bad. I'm going to bring just a thin line of adhesive right below her hairline. Because if the hair unit is made accordingly to the size that you need, you don't have to spend a lot of time with the installation. Ideally, your wig or your hair unit should fit your head like a glove. The purpose of the adhesive is to hold it in place. It's not to hold it on your head. For this installation, we're going to be using Miss Lola's liquid adhesive cream, Miss Lola's lace release, and my newest product, which is Miss Lola's skin protector. It actually adds to the bonding qualities of Miss Lola's adhesive cream. So those are the three products that we're going to use today to do this installation, which will be just as easy for her to do at home herself. Always start with your 99% alcohol. Even though you've cleansed your skin, this 99% alcohol will go down and get the oils from your skin to keep from forming air pockets in the installation. Just going to saturate a cotton ball with alcohol and remove any oils from the bonding area only. And in Van's case, it's just going to be the front center hairline because we're going to be clipping the unit onto the rest of her hair. Okay, not a lot of oil. So that's fine. Make sure you let this alcohol dry 
before you apply Miss Lola's skin protector. You will only need just a couple of, uh, we get it rolling first. Okay, we get it rolling. It's going to be a small bonding area. And just a couple of layers of my new skin protector. Make sure that you allow, make sure that you let this dry thoroughly too before you go to your next step, which is going to be Miss Lola's liquid adhesive cream in this case. Now that the skin protector has dried, I'm just going to go over that same area with Miss Lola's liquid adhesive cream. And if it gets into the hairline, it's not a problem. It will come out easily with Miss Lola's lace release. Just a little bit in front of her hairline. And let's let that one layer dry clear, and we're going to come back and put a second layer on to really reinforce the strength of this application. This is the second layer of Miss Lola's adhesive cream. I applied the first layer, I let it dry completely clear, and then I went over that same layer with another layer before the cream dries clear again. And this is very important. Before the cream dries again, you should apply the lace to the cream and then it will dry together and that's when you really get a solid bond. I'm just going to align the lace right there. Just that little area right there is the only place that we're going to use Miss Lola's adhesive cream. Can you feel it beginning to bond already, Van? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going to start, and once the cream is dried clear underneath, you're going to have a solid bond that's going to last. With Miss Lola's skin protector, that will actually help the bond to solidify and to uh, reinforce the bond even more. Okay, because she's firm right now. I can feel this. She is absolutely firm. Okay, and... For the rest of her installation, we're going to use clips. When I did her mold, I put the clips on the uh, template exactly where I wanted them. So now it's just easy. You can still hold the front of the application. You want to pull it right away. And the clips just go down into the hair and lock into the hair. Very easy. These clips are a lifesaver as far as lace wigs and hair units are concerned. Same thing over here, we're going to go throughout the entire unit. I actually had several clips put on this hair unit so that the minimum of adhesive is necessary. She is secure all the way around with the front part of her lace unit being bonded to her skin so it looks absolutely natural. And even with partings, it's also going to look natural. The lace is my resilient Swiss lace, so it's actually a stronger lace, even though it's very sheer, it's also very strong. And she is bonded very well with it. Okay, we've installed uh, Van's hair unit, which was really, really easy to do. She's gonna be able to do this herself. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna give her a very simple cut that's easy for her to manage, yet still very attractive. I'm loving this. Just a real easy style. And since she does not have a complete bond around her hairline, she can wear this hair back if she wants to look even more sensual. I'm loving this already. We're getting ready to go get us some crabs right now. Here in North Carolina, steamed crabs are a huge thing. And we're on our way to get some. <laughs> All right, Miss. Hey, this is good. This is another application uh, by Miss Lola. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. So please come to my website, MissLola.com. I'll meet you there. Take care. Bye-bye.